Hey there, happy Saturday. I'm gonna keep this one strictly to a mail day. I ca I'm calling it the golden mail day and that'll become very clear right at the end of the video here once we get through the cards. I do have a couple of things I wanna talk about but we're gonna keep this one strictly to mail and then I'll probably record another video maybe to be posted Sunday or Monday. We'll see how that goes. But like I said, it's been a good week at the mailbox so let me show you a couple of things that came in, all from eBay. So first of all, we've got this card right here. So this right here is from the early 90s collection. This is the Electric Ice, 9495 Electric Ice. Pretty nondescript, except for when it comes to that foil. It's got that nice reflective shine going on with it. It's a cool looking card. This one here is kind of a nice little insert, and I'm going to get it out of this top loader, but this is a good example of um, not a big fan of this type of uh, shipping. So this is uh, the Fleer Ultra Extra Attacker. Again, kind of in that mid-90s period. It's a cool looking card, but as you can see, they use the uh, kind of the plastic tape, and I'm going to have to very carefully get it out of this thing, but... It is a nice looking card and it is one of those little uh, less expensive inserts that I still needed for my collection and to p fill out that part of the, that part of my holdings. I like this next one, this is a nice one. So this here is from Pacific Prism, 2002. This is actually the McDonald's jersey card, or the McDonald's patch card I should say. So number 241, uh, you had to buy packs of McDonald's when you would go to the McDonald's in Canada and you would order fries, you could get a couple of packs, and you would get a redemption card that could pull one of these guys. There is another version that is numbered to a lot less. I think it's the jersey number of the player, so it would be 9 for Medano. But this is the regular version, and you can see, you got a nice little 3-4 uh, color patch. Pretty sweet. It's a nice looking one. Back is pretty nondescript. This, is, this holder is going to have to be replaced, but for now I'll leave it in. That is a nice looking card for sure. And a nice little addition, I'm starting to fill out some of these McDonald's uh, jersey cards for the collection. There aren't too many of them, but I definitely want to start clearing out some of that as I go through the different themes in my collecting. This next one here is just a nice little signature card. So this is from uh, Upper Deck Premier. So this is just our signature, and it's a nice one uh, out of 99, and it's got Medano holding the Stanley Cup. I, was, I believe that's from uh, when they had the victory parade, basically. So it commemorates that 99 Stanley Cup championship. It's a nice, clean signature on card, which is pretty nice. Another good addition to collection. Next one here. Technically a one of one, although I'm kind of a... Uh, it'll be discussed for another day, but I'm a little bit uh, lukewarm on some of these, but I saw it and the price was fair, so I thought I'd pick it up. So this is an Upper Deck buyback. Uh, 30th anniversary here, you can see from that. And it is a one of one. So this one is a, a rebought version of the 2008 2009 upper deck. Like I said, I was able to get it nice and cheap. Came in the mail. So I thought, why not? Doesn't hurt picking up another one of one, even if it's uh, one of these. I kind of position these in the same. I, I position them this maybe about a half step higher than like one of those card show one of ones, but because it did come from upper deck directly in a product you could pull. So I, you know, like I said, it's, it's, it's a little bit up there, but there's some other one of ones that I would rank up a little bit higher, but it's a nice one to have. It's a neat one for the collection. I never have a problem adding another one of one regardless. Okay, now we're going to do a couple of Jamie Benn cards here. This is a uh, player collection heavy, and these four that I'm going to show you actually came part of the same lot. So the next four cards are all part of the same lot from eBay. Here we go. So first we got a Sign of the Times, dual autograph with Scott Glennie. This is not a numbered card, but it's uh, from, I believe, 2012, 2013. So very cool from SB Authentic. A lot of these are going to need new top loaders, but I just left them this way for now before I replace them. Let's move the Medano out of the way. Next card, like I said, all these are from the same lot. So here's another Jamie Benn autograph. So this one is Metallic Marks from Titanium. This is the silver one. So it's a sticker autograph. It's a nice one. Uh, these are not numbered, but they're actually limited to 100 for the silver version. So that's pretty cool. It's nice to add a couple of autograph cards to the collection like that. And you'll see, I'll explain what I actually paid for this lot. Like I said, these two are part of the same lot with the next two. And uh, you'll get a sense of where we went with that. This here is Ultimate Gear. This is the Gold Spectrum version out of 25. And you can see that's a really nice patch. The two patch pieces there. That's pretty cool. Although I think that mustache is a little bit of a mistake. I assume this is probably around playoff time when they took that picture. But it is a really nice card. I like the, uh, with the gold, uh, reflective foil and the patches themselves. Let me put that there. Okay, and the last one for the slot was, uh, SP Game Used, uh, from 2017-2018. This is a glove card, and it is the, uh, I guess the gold spectrum again, and this one's out of 10. It's a pretty neat looking card, all things considered. You can see the glove there. 
That's pretty cool. I'm going to move this guy. Okay, so like I said, this these two came as the last two part of a Ford card lot with the first two autograph cards I showed you a second ago. So in total, I got the four of them for $75 Canadian, including $15 shipping. So all told, I paid $60 for the cards and $15 for shipping from uh, here in Canada. And the thing is, to be honest with you, like just these two cards alone, uh, pretty sweet. And then factor in, you got a autograph out of 100 and then another dual autograph as well. I think I did very well with uh, getting those four cards for that price. So I was really happy with it. And like I said, when I saw this patch, uh, you know, patch card out of 25, I was like, my goodness, right here, this right here is the value. And then this one's out of 10. So it's not like that's an easy one either. Some nice additions to the Jamie Ben collection. So I'm going to clear these guys out. So those were all part of one lot, like I said. So I got a, two more Jamie Bens to show you. Uh, and one of them is going to be part of that naming uh, the Golden Mill Day. So first I'm going to show you this one here. So this is another Jamie Ben autograph. This is uh, Lights Out. I believe it's from Upper Deck Overtime. It's a pretty neat looking card with the foil and everything. It's kind of cool. Uh, it's sticker autograph. But the big, uh, the big thing with this one is this one's uh, out of three. So that's a tough autograph right there. And a pretty good uh, pickup. And I think this one cost me like 20 bucks. So uh, an autograph out of three from a player and uh, pretty neat looking. But that is not the reason why I call this a golden mail day. Although this does have some gold accents on the card. So that can kind of play into the theme a little bit. So this is the first card that I'm going to show you as part of the golden mail day here. So it is a graded card. And it is this one. So this is a Jamie Benn rookie year. So another one for the rookie card. So this is the 60th uh, Jamie Benn rookie year card that I have. Including uh, his actual rookies. This is the gold script out of 100. And it is a uh, Beckett 9.5. I didn't really care uh, that... Um, that it was graded, I really didn't need that. I was just looking for the card itself. So I saw it on eBay, and I probably overpaid for this one a little bit, I would say. But uh, the seller was nice enough to work with me. I had a very pleasant conversation with him, actually. I made an offer, and the seller counteroffered, and I rejected the counteroffer because I, I really wasn't looking to pay a lot for this one. And I wasn't going to really pay any extra for the grading because I didn't really care that much about it. I just wanted the card. And uh, the seller actually reached out to me. He goes, you know, what, what do you want to do? And I basically just laid it out. I said, look, the, the price I offered is what I'm willing to do because I'm not really going to pay a premium for the card. And I just wanted to add the card itself to my collection. And if it wasn't graded, I would probably have offered less. So in the end, the guy said, okay, fair enough. I'll sell it to you for what you have because apparently he had been holding it for a while. So I resubmitted my actual offer and then they accepted the offer and shipped it right over uh, really fast shipping. And I got it in a couple of days. So that's a nice one. So this is the first golden uh, mail, part of the golden mail day with the gold script card. And now here's the second one. And this one's the highlight of, uh, of this week's mail. And you'll see why here in a second. My highlight of the day, or the week from the mail, and the reason why I call it a golden mail in addition to this card, is this one right here. So I had already in the last couple of weeks done the totally certified, but I still needed two cards to complete the run of the 9798 Pinnacle certified. So I needed a mirror red, and I needed the mirror gold. So I ordered the mirror gold, uh, Probably a couple of weeks ago, and it took a while for the shipping to come in, but this one came in the mail on Friday, and it is a, a beauty. And I'll put, uh, I'll put my Instagram on the screen somewhere, just so that you know, I actually took a shot of this one, along with the two gold totally certified cards, because I've got the trio of the three golden cards from the Pinnacle totally certified, as well as the Pinnacle certified. And these things are gorgeous. These are unnumbered, but they were pretty tough back in the day. But just a really, really nice card and a highlight. This would qualify as one of the grail cards of uh, when I was collecting in my teens when these first came out. I definitely wanted one of these back then, and uh, I'm not happy to have this one now. So the back is very similar design to those other ones. Obviously, it says Mirror Gold. There's no numbering on this at all. But it is a sweet card. That right there, I think, is very appropriate. So that's what we're calling the Golden Mail Day. We got the gold, the Mirror Gold from Mike Medano. And we've got the gold script uh, rookie year for Jamie Ben. So if you have any comments or questions, I'd be happy to reply to those. And we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks very much.